All right, guys. So I thought I'd do a real quick um, video on where the X tool shines compared to any of these other scan tools that I've got. Now, just real quick, this X tool is about seven hundred dollars. Um, most of the time, you can get at least a hundred dollars off on Amazon. Um, they've usually got either a percent, a twenty percent off, or a uh, uh, an actual dollar amount off. The Altel. Uh, I think you can get one of these. Now, this is the TS version, but you can get just the regular Autel, like the MS906, or the, the 906 is the corded version. The 906 BT is the Bluetooth, which would be equivalent to this one. This is the TS version. It's got the uh, TPMS uh, built in. And then you've got this one here, which is, oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, this is the Launch X431 Elite. Uh, this was about eleven hundred dollars. The Altel, I think I said uh, about twelve to thirteen hundred dollars for the Altel, and then you got the Think Diag Two. This is equivalent to their thousand dollar scan tool, which is real similar to the Launch here, as far as functionality. The only thing you don't get here is the actual tablet, you know, the display with. Uh, you know, with the memory and the, the all that stuff and the apps built onto it. You're actually using your own phone or tablet and you download the uh, app and that's how this works. But this, this the functionality wise, this has almost the same capability that any of these have. Okay, so what I'm wanting to show is the key programming and the ability that this scan tool has that these other scan tools do not have. Okay, so first we want to start with the, Alt or the uh, X tool. And I'm going to show you the one thing that this tool will do that none of these others will do. So we're going to get in here to key programming. We'll go down here to uh, Jeep. Select by vehicle. Wrangler. This is a 07, so 07 to 2017. Right there, read PIN code. And the reason that's important is because if, if, if you try to program a key with this, um, in fact, let me just show you. I don't guess it matters if it's a blank key or an old key, but program blank key. Enter the security code. If you don't know the security code, you're, this is as far as you go. You have to know the security code, which is the PIN code. We'll do, uh, old key may actually work, I don't know. Nope, got to have a security code even with an old key. So if you want to get the PIN code, you just, PIN code, bam, and it's right there. Security code, 5751. That is the PIN code to this Jeep. And now with the PIN code, you can get in and you can program a key. You know what the PIN code is. Um, how many keys we got? Pro we got seven keys total for this vehicle. You can replace the module, all, because and, and, you're going to have to have a pin code for that. So there's the uh, the X tool. So, okay, so let's go ahead and plug in the uh, launch. Okay, so we're going to go here to diagnose. And again, the launch is about, a, I think it was $1,100 is what I had to pay for it. And let's see, special functions, immobilizer and key programming. So the only thing you got here is erase all ignition keys, program ignition keys. Well, I'd like to program them.
and there it is got to enter the the pin without the pin you're not going any farther than that so at this point we're done you got to hit cancel and get out of it and press on and that's the only option on this tool to be able to program a key so I guess my point is why would they even give it the give the option to be able to program a key if they're not going to give you the option to pull the pin code so you can go to the next step and program a key I don't know so now let's try the Autel the Autel is the most expensive scan tool that I've got And as soon as the Autel gets gives us our uh, VCI green check mark there, then we will uh, be able to get into it. Okay, got our green check mark. We're going to diagnostic. Um, auto detect. I think Hot Functions has got a mobilizer under it. Okay, so we got Erase All Keys, PCM Replaced, Program Ignition Keys, WCM Replaced, WCM Replaced, Non TPM. So we're going to hit Program Ignition Keys. Okay. And there you go. You've got to be able to put it in, put in the pin number, but it doesn't give you a way to extract the pin number. So you're done. This is where where it ends. It has the ability to program the key if you have a pin number without the pin number you don't go no further so so far out of these three the X tool is the only one out of these three the cheapest scan tool I've got is able to pull pin codes it's crazy in my opinion don't even put the option in the scan tool to program a key if you're not going to allow them to go all the way through with it so now that leaves the that leaves the, the Think Diag 2 by Think Tool. So let me get it plugged in. And I'm going to put this up. I'll, I'll do the uh, screen capture so that you can actually uh, see the screen nice and clear. But we're going to go into uh, Immobilizer. And don't get me wrong, this is a very capable scan tool. Even though you're using your own phone or tablet, the ability of this thing has, has very much impressed me. So we're going to hit Chrysler, Jeep, or Dodge. Immobilizer keys programming, remote control, manual setup. We want to program keys. Uh, we'll do by car. We'll do Jeep. Uh, North America. We'll do the Wrangler, 07 to 014, Immobilizer, match old keys, match new keys, clear key. Uh, I don't know, but there you go. Enter the four-digit pin. Without the pin, you don't go any farther than that. Let's do match old keys, just in case you got an old key. Same thing, got to have a four-digit pin. 
with no way to extract the pin using any of these scan tools except for the X tool. And you know, I mean, I'm not saying the X tool is the, the best and perfect scan tool out there. I'm just saying for what you pay for the scan tool, it has a it has a very good uh, function ability. Not just you know, not just for uh, programming keys either. But uh, you've got all this. If your car supports it, you see everything right here on this list. It'll do all that too. Anyway, I don't want to make this video very long. Uh, this was just showing the one one of the key features, actually, that this scan tool has the ability to do that none of the other scan tools have. So, you know, if you ever, if you have a car that's got key fobs uh, and stuff like that, and if you ever had to go get a new one from the dealer or even a locksmith, you know how expensive that is. And it's nice to know that you can just order one off Amazon and you have a tool that you can actually program it to your own vehicle. Just like in the old days when you had your key and you was able to just go to any drugstore or a Walmart and have a key cut, you had an extra key. And it was just a couple bucks. Now it's three or $400 or more to have a new key and, or key fob cut and programmed to your vehicle. Anyway, I'm done. Enough talking. You guys take care.